Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And this is attempt three on filming my stats and reflections video for 2022. For some reason, my computer just does not like it when I talk about my 2022 past. So let's try this one more time. And if not, I am going to just not do this video. So pulling up my information of different things that I am trying to been trying to do. Looking back in, at the year of 2022, I set the monthly goal to read eight books a month. And that was the goal of that was four novels and four other items. I can tell you right now, I did not read eight books a month, but looking at my author data, it averages out because I read 108 things this year and averages out to nine a month. My biggest month was April where I read 19 and my lowest month was November where I read five. So I'm happy. I Averaging now, I completed this. I'm happy about that. That's not a big deal to me. Then my next goal was to read a new release a month. So that was to read 12 total 2022 new releases. I read 25, way more than my goal. I'm very happy with that. So the 2022 new releases was the second highest amount of or published year amount of books. The first one was 2021, which makes sense because I'm reading a lot of books that are nominated for awards that I hadn't gotten to before. But then the two years after that, that have my highest is 2018 and 2019. So you can see I'm catching up on things that I haven't read that I want to read. So I'm very much a modern reader. No, my oldest was from 1817, which was my rereading of Pride and Prejudice. So I still read from a wide variety of books, but I primarily am reading modern works. Another of my big goals was to do a weekly wrap-up instead of a monthly wrap-up. And in that wrap those wrap-ups, I talked about the books I read that I was currently reading. I did a writing wrap-up and I did another media wrap-up. And I've had so much fun doing that. I'm going to continue to do that. I really enjoyed getting to focus more on what I was working on at the time instead of trying to remember at the end of the month and then just having a ton to talk about. I like having shorter videos because me as a, I know as a consumer of YouTube, I really enjoy the shorter videos because then I can watch more of them versus the long ones. I still watch like the hour long ones for wrap ups and for people, but it does mean that I'm only watching one person in a whole hour versus five if they all do short videos. So there, there's a trade off there. So going to continue doing the weekly wrap ups. My Goodreads currently reading started in 2022 at 162. And there, I did get rid of like 50 books off of there that I had never started. They were more for, on there for research purposes to remind me to go pick them up. And the project that I was originally wanting to re use them for research, I decided not to do. So I removed them. I've ended the year at 108, which not bad. I'm not upset about. That is definitely lower. I then had a goal to get my physical TBR, which was at 73 books down. And I think I, I was just like thinking one a month would have to go back and look at my original video, which I don't remember. This is also the year that I gave myself permission to buy things again versus just using the library. So that number went up, not down. I am ending the year at 134. I also had the goal of finishing series and I started the year at 87 or with 17 series that were pro in progress but were caught up to where the author was. I have ended this year with 96 series in progress and 23 of which are caught up. Now, using my copile data, I can tell you she did a feature where it tracked series some more. So when you look at my data, 
53% of what I read were standalone books and 46 were series. In the year, in this year, I started 19 new series. I continued reading an 18 series and I finished six series. So that explains why my numbers went up. And then the last goal I had set for myself was to do written book reviews. And this one I think ends up more as a mess. I didn't really try getting any written book reviews done until this summer where I was had more headspace, I guess, and was able to write. And then I started getting some reviews out. I would still like to do reviews in the future, but it's not as big of a focus for me. I know how important reviews are to authors. Even if me as a reader, I don't always use them. Even though me as a reader, I don't always look at reviews for what I want, for what I am wanting to read. I know for authors, reviews are important though, because not everybody is a reader like me. And as I want to someday be a self-published author, I'd like to be the type of reader that I would hope to have who would leave me a review. So I have reviews that I still want to write. All right. And then just for some fun stats, one of the fun stats I like looking at is genre. 46% of what I read is science fiction. 14% is fantasy, and then 9% is romance. Those are my top three categories, but I read across 14 genres this year. This was also a year that I read a lot more short stories, because I read a lot of single short stories, so they weren't part of collections as a whole. Saying, when you look at my book length, it says that I read more books under 100 pages, but the, that's because of the short stories and novelettes. So I have found like my sweet spot for reading novels for page length is between 300 and 350. It's just, it's nice and easy and those are usually the ones I can get finished within a week. Interesting one of like, like how I got my books. 56% of what I read is from the library. So the library is still the majority of what I read. 21% are owned books. So I was reading things that I owned or I had purchased, which is nice to know. 19% is online, so a lot of those would have been the short stories and novelettes that you can find online that were nominated. And then 2% was gifted. Those are probably the arcs that I have received that I have finished reading. Out of what I was reading this year, 91% were first-time reads, and only 8% were rereads. So I still like to reread, but a lot of what I was reading was things that I was reading for the first time. That doesn't necessarily mean the author was a first time author for me, but the book itself was a new. And then that leads us into the last stat I'm going to share today. And that is 53% of the authors I read from, I had read from before. 46% were completely brand new to me. So I think that's a good kind of balance of new to old ratio. So I'm still reading authors that I enjoy, but then I'm also trying out new authors. Overall, I am happy with where my stats have ended this year, and I'm looking forward to going forward in 2023. How about you? Do you track anything related to your reading? If so, please let me know down below. Thank you, and have a great day!